days, everyone. It's World Burger Day. I'm Jennifer Sanasi. You're watching News 24 Live. Well, I'm in the kitchen at the Planet Restaurant with Chef Rudy Liebenberg, one of South Africa's top chefs, and he's going to tell us about his quest to make the perfect burger. Rudy, I love burgers. Well, you're going to enjoy this one. <laughs> well, the first thing to a perfect burger is obviously the perfect meat. So tell me about this meat right. we have here. 100% correct. It is about the perfect meat. Um, what we decided over the last couple of years that the best mix for us is a mixture of brisket, mixture of chuck, equal quantities, and then 20% fat. All right. And that's what we've done. I'm very excited to All try right, so it. We're going to so put it through the mincer, but first things first, um, meat has to be kept extremely cold. We put no eggs in there, no onions, nothing to bind it, and all the equipment has to be very, very, very cold for it to be um, a perfect bind. All right. But not only that, it has to be the perfect animal as well. So 100% grass-fed um, beef that we use. Um, lately, we've been on a quest to find the right animal. So this one, particular, this particular one, is an Africana. Um, that we're using in this burger patty today. That was quite incredible what Shakes did. I've never seen meat minced before. Yeah, no, it is quite an incredible process, all right? Uh, but anyway, we're going to go and make the patties right now. Um, and we always test them before we do that. All right, let's so go. Let's go. All right, now we have all of this meat here. What are we going to do with it? Well, this is the most important part. Um, I, I say that, but every part is important. But this is where we weigh the meat. Uh, make sure every portion is exactly the same and then obviously we shape and press it down to make sure there's the right amount of um, bind on all the patties. All right, I mean we make this every second day. Um, it's a very popular, probably the most popular item on our menu right through the hotel. Well, it's absolutely delicious. I, I had a little sample earlier on. Well, we're going to taste it with all the combinations just now. All right, Rudy, we have all of our patties and I'm getting hungry, so let's go cook these burgers. Yes, let's go. Let's go this way. Thanks. All right, now Dion has got hold of those patties and he's already thrown them on the grill. How long are we going to cook those for? Well, we're probably looking at another four to five minutes and then they will be done. Um, obviously, the importance here is that, you know, what you want a little bit of that smokiness from the flame that just aids in that beautiful taste in the meat that, that, uh, that you're looking for in a great burger. All right, let's go take a look at those toppings now. Excellent. the home stretch these ingredients are what stands between me and eating this delicious burger Rudy tell me what we have here well a great burger is all about layers and layers of flavor and taste so what we've got is a today's the first time we're doing a, a, a brinjal chutney with it and that's where we're gonna go in the future we've got a homemade pickle a little bit of lettuce a little bit of tomato a little bit of caramelized onion not a lot of sugar in there and a good cheddar and, and besides the tomato and lettuce you were saying all this is homemade Everything is homemade. Yeah. Every single thing is homemade. And then obviously the mayonnaise or an aioli, whichever right. the choice is. All right, and then obviously a toasted bun. Let's bang all these ingredients on. Excellent. I'm going to leave you two putting all these ingredients on the burger. I'm actually meeting Dax from Relax with Dax. He's been on a quest to find the best burger. We're going to give your burger a taste in just a moment, all right? Excellent. I cannot wait to hear your feedback. All right.